Hi there, Dr. Darren Raymolt at Bridges Chiropractic Health Clinic here in Owatonna. Uh, today I'm going to talk about a couple of uh, quick topics. Uh, this is Chiropractic Healthcare Month. This is October when I'm filming this, and so our office is putting together uh, informational videos that uh, hope we can spread through the community and uh, help educate the public about chiropractic care and some of the conditions that we treat. Today I'm going to talk about a topic uh, that's probably not is easily talked about, or at least sometimes not something that uh, parents are really going to chat with their friends about very often, and that is bedwetting. I think every family uh, has had issues with bedwetting. Uh, we do see children of all age groups uh, with bedwetting, from toddlers learning how to potty train to teenagers who have never had a dry night in their life. And uh, I think we have a very um, simple approach to that. It's very effective. We see many children that have great success uh, with some of the treatments that we that we um, apply. So let's just break it down real briefly in how we might approach a child who has bedwetting issues. First, we look at the mechanical side of things. Uh, we want to look at the spine in general, lumbar spine, upper cervical spine. Just make sure everything is moving properly. The brain innervation through the spine does innervate to the bladder, and if their alignment signals are off, that signaling won't occur, especially when the child is asleep. <clears throat> and so we first have to make sure that everything mechanically is working the way it's supposed to. Some children have issues with a condition called tonal reflex uh, issue. It's a There's a gallant reflex that uh, diminishes soon after birth. Many times when it doesn't, that... Uh, reflex will inhibit the ability of the brain to speak to the bladder and back and forth. And when a child is sleeping, they can't help but but uh, void and uh, wet the bed, and it's of no fault of their own. Uh, so we work on exercises that can improve that. Uh, we also work on just tonal bladder exercises. Uh, if we can get the child to stop a urinary stream when they're awake, they're much more prone to tr be able to do that when they're at when they're asleep because they know how to do that even in a sleep state. And many of these kids, um, they can sleep through a freight train. There are often underlying sleep issues that play a role with this also. That kind of ties into the chemical side. We look at the dopamine serotonin receptors. Are there supplemental things that can be given so the child isn't sleeping quite so hard? Uh, uh, we also look at issues like um, constipation. Um, that can be a big factor and play a role in bedwetting. Uh, looking at their overall diet, uh, uh, are they taking too many sugars? Are they taking too many uh, drinks, sweetened drinks before bedtime? Um, looking at the chemical side of just um, being in front of a screen all the time. Are they having too much screen time before bedtime? Uh, so little things like that, diving in the history can play a big role. And then just the psychological component of it. Um, these children, no fault of their own, are having problems and they feel kind of beaten up about it. The parents can get on their case. Maybe there's underlying stress in the household. Parents are fighting. Maybe there's a divorce going on. Maybe there's already been a divorce or separation. And the, in the child, just there's underlying stressors that oftentimes... Uh, are given off with, with conditions like bedwetting. And, and again, it's not a purposeful condition, but once you start to dive into all these little approaches, you can typically find out what the trigger is and address it and improve it. And many times when we see these children, we see improvements really quickly. Um, you'd be surprised. It, you, it, it'll be within a week or two that you'll see some changes. And if not, then we dive into, well, what are we missing here? So um, I don't get into using alarm systems. I'm not big on, you know, parents waking up and getting the child up uh, to try to go. That's some, that just doesn't work. Uh, medications typically don't work. This is oftentimes a reflex spinal uh, neurological issue. So so there you have it. That's kind of the summary or a small synopsis of how we approach it. If you know parents that are having issues, share this video with them. Uh, if you have children at home then that have issues, even if it's periodically, and you don't know why they've been dry and all of a sudden, boom, we've had a week of bedwetting, what's going on? Those are some of the easiest ones to work with. Uh, it's the ones that uh, have never had a dry night that take a little bit more uh, thought and a little bit more um, uh, diving into the history to figure out what, what, what might be the case. But uh, 
they're a challenge, but we have a great success rate with those. So hope that helps. Hope you enjoy this video series that we're putting together. If you ever have any questions or would like to hear something on another topic, please let our office know. Have a great day.